Hey guys, what's up? It's Trinity back with another YouTube video. And for today's video, I'm gonna be doing something different, like something I haven't done before. But today I'm gonna be exposing my school, Queen Creek High School in Queen Creek, Arizona. I'm gonna go over like a couple different things that's wrong with my school and um just inform you guys that don't go to queen creek how toxic of an environment that it is so yeah first thing i'm going to start with is if you guys haven't seen it on the news lately for the past couple of days there was an incident that happened my freshman year at queen creek which was in 2018 i'm now a junior First, I'm going to explain what happened and then I'll put in the video so that you guys can see if you haven't seen it already. Just a little backstory first. Xaviana, which is the African American female in the video, isn't my blood cousin, but like she's my cousin. And at the time of the incident, I lived with her, I shared a room with her. Like, I've been living with her for the past like almost three years. So, yeah, I just want to get that out there so people don't think I'm making stuff up but I will say I wasn't outside of the cafeteria when it happened so I didn't see it happen but I know of the situation so what had started this whole incident was um a white male who was a sophomore at the time he is now senior named Caleb was basically harassing Xaviana at lunch while him and his friends were sitting at his table and Xaviana and her friends were sitting at their t at her table. They kept throwing stuff at her and like going up to her and like saying like why don't you like me and all this stuff and Xaviana asked him politely to stop and leave her alone and they continued to do it. Then he proceeded to get up and uh basically was everyone was surrounding like everyone was around and he goes to Xaviana, he says, go pick my cotton, it's that way. And Xaviana continues and throws her yogurt on him and then walks away. Sophie, go pick my cotton, it's that way. A lot of people are getting it wrong. They're saying like it was a slushy or ice cream. Like, no, it was a yogurt parfait. They had them at my school. Um, there's been articles that I've seen, like, news articles that are completely false and, like, totally not right at all, and they shouldn't be posted if they're not going to be right, if they don't know, like, the whole story. Uh, I, I saw an article that said Xaviana killed the student and that she was in college. First of all, she did not kill him, and second of all, she was not in college. As punishment... Xaviana was suspended from school for a day and left early the same day that the incident happened. For Caleb, he was supposed to be suspended for two weeks, but he wrote Xaviana an apology letter, so that two weeks got cut into one. So he was suspended for one week, and then after that, he just went back to school, like everything was fine, and just like a slap on the wrist. That's it. On Saturday, this video was posted on Snapchat again. Like, people have already had this video because it was recorded the day that it happened. And, you know, no one really talked about it that much. It was like a day or two topic that people talked about just a little bit, but nothing major like that. Saturday, it started having, there started being news articles and stories and everything on it. Not all of them saying what really happened. But some of them, yeah. So this video was getting hundreds and hundreds of thousands of views. It was getting noticed by many, many people and share, shared, reposted for everyone to see. And my school came out with a statement. And I'm going to put it in right here. First of all, I want to say this statement should not have been posted two years later after the incident happened. They only posted a statement 
because that video was getting resurfaced and everyone was seeing it. This statement slash apology should have been talked about and said two years ago when it happened. This statement has been seen by a lot of people and it's got a lot more attention than like any other post on my school's Instagram account has gotten. Um, you know, even SZA, do you know who SZA is? I'm sure you know who SZA is. SZA commented on the post two years later and this is the apology dot 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 embarrassing. Or like those weren't her exact words, but it was along those lines. And on that same video, there were there were several other already graduated students from the school and students that still are currently enrolled in the school, African American students, that commented about their experience going to the school and and there were even some Hispanics in the comment section talking about their experiences and how they feel left out and treated differently by staff, teachers, everybody, students, because of the color of their skin. This isn't the first racist incident that has happened at the school. Literally, if you search up Queen Creek High School right now, the top recommended search is racism. Queen Creek High School racism. The second thing that I wanted to talk about is the fact that our school went back to in-person teaching slash learning today on August 17th. First of all, I want to say that was, that was a really dumb choice of them to open the school back up and that's why there's so many people, so many students that have unenrolled from the school or are doing online school, like the smart choice. And there's been so many teachers that have left the school and the district itself. My school district is the only district in the state that opened up schools today. I didn't go because I switched to online because I'm not like, not saying people that go to school are stupid because some people don't have the choice. But personally, I know several people that have got coronavirus myself included i do want to say that it was never actually confirmed that i had coronavirus but based on everyone that i live with getting it and having it and me having the symptoms we just assumed that i had it and we handled it as if i had it my stepmom two of my uncles two of my cousins sorry five of my cousins two of my little brothers my granddad and my aunt now that might not seem like a big deal to you know people watching this but from what i've seen today even just the first day going back to school i've already seen at least five different people post pictures at school without their masks on and i don't know how stupid they are but to realize how selfish that is but it just wasn't a smart idea because there's no way they're going to be able to control everyone and make it to where no one gets coronavirus. It School shouldn't be open. That's it, period. The third thing I want to talk about is school lunches. Now, I know what you're thinking if you go to public school. If you go to private school, it's different because you like have fancier food or whatever. At least at my school, Queen Creek, our food is trash. Complete trash. And I know a lot of people that go to public school are going to say their school lunches are trash. Breakfast is lunch, whatever yeah cool but have you you had friends that have found mold on their pizzas from the school served to us to eat i'm not gonna name any names because i don't know if they want to get involved or not but i know a friend that got pizza from the school lunch people that had mold on it second thing about the school lunches i don't know if you guys know any people that have got food poisoning from school lunch but i know a friend who got food poisoning from our spicy chicken sandwiches a third thing i want to bring up about the school lunches is that i know a lot of people including myself get the free lunches and some days like you know you're not that hungry you just want you just want the burger but you don't want the chips or the juice and the fruit but no, guess what? Queen Creek High School, they make you take the food, even if you're not going to eat it. There have been several times 
where I've only wanted one or two things and they're like, okay, get your fruit, vegetable, or juice. And I'm like, I, oh, I don't want it. I'm not going to eat it. They're like, well, you're going to have to take it or we're going to have to charge you. So you're going to charge me to waste food? I just told you I'm not going to eat it. So why are you going to give me food if I'm not going to eat it? But if I don't take it, you're going to put my account in the negative. Make it make sense. The last thing I want to talk about is how uncomfortable how the staff at the school makes me and i know many others feel there was a multiple times where i was in the restroom but and there would be staff members that come into the bathroom and stand in there and wait until you're done to leave i don't know about you guys but that made me feel extremely uncomfortable no they weren't in the stall with me but you know you can see through those little cracks like, we all know you can see through those little cracks. No one's dumb. Like, I felt like I was being watched while I was using the bathroom. That is disgusting and so un incredibly uncomfortable. My school also, I don't know if this has been done at other schools. I don't know any other schools that have done this, but took off the door to the boys' bathroom. Now, to me, that seems like an invasion of privacy because if anyone walks past the hallway, or even peeps their head in there, they can see, like, whatever. Another thing that made me really uncomfortable was my freshman year. I had a science teacher who made us shake his hand every morning and wouldn't let you in the classroom unless you shook his hand. That might not seem like a big deal to other people, but to me, it felt weird and it made me feel uncomfortable. I'm currently editing this video right now. Another thing I would like to add um, to the, about the fact how they made me feel uncomfortable is my bus driver um there were several different times where things were said and it was just weird and just made me feel very uncomfortable and uh other people felt uncomfortable too not only is there racist people at my school but there are people like this here is a caucasian male at my school that posted this that obviously thinks that rape is a joke and it's not sexual assault isn't a joke anything like that nothing like that should be joked about and there are people that make posts and comments about this stuff every single day and nothing gets done about it and it's wrong and the people that do make the jokes and post stuff about it on social media should be some disciplinary actions taken so basically that's it for the video i just wanted to um let the people that don't go to queen creek know and become aware of what happens there and what the environment is like very toxic and just horrible um so yeah message to queen creek do better and i hope overall queen creek can do better and be more um be more proactive when it comes to it and actually solving the real important issues like racism and not dress code i hope you guys enjoyed that video if you did don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i will see you guys next time Comment down below what kind of videos you guys want to see next and follow me on my social medias. Hope you guys have a good day. Wear a mask, wash your hands, stay inside unless you absolutely have to go to the store. Don't be in groups larger than 10. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.